Hi and welcome back. Glad you came back to the note card art school. This is the art school where you make art on a four by six inch note card. And I'll just review real quick the reason why that is. First of all, they're inexpensive, about a penny a piece if you buy them in a big pack. <clears throat> Second is they're easy to frame, four by six inch picture frames. You can buy those at any store. And you, they're easy to carry around, you know. So today's topic is ideas. Because uh, usually when you, when a, you know, we're all amateur artists, let's call us, or I'm guessing that's who would watch this show. An amateur artist. And at this point, we're not really sure what we're going to be making in our artistic life, or maybe we'll never even figure it out. We might retire before we figure it out. But to figure out what you're meant to make or what's your thing, you know, what's your thing going to be? You have to figure out what you're going to do. And I would call this coming up with ideas. So there are a lot of places to get ideas from. Um... I think the first place you start is you, you look at other people's art. It's tempting to think you could make art without looking at other people's art. Sort of out of the blue. Just out of your, out of your own brain. You could make something beautiful. And you probably could, you know. I'm not saying you can't. I'm not here to tell you you can't do that. But the other thing that could happen to you is you could spend your whole life worky, worky, work, 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 really working to come up with something unique and something that really fascinated you, something you were really impressed with. And after all that, you might discover, you might discover um, someone else already did it, you know. Someone else has already done that. That would be kind of frustrating, I guess. So the fact is, you know, like they say writers like to write, or do they say writers like to read? I think most writers read a lot, writers read a lot. I think if you're going to make art, even as a hobby, you should like to look at art. That's not a rule, it's like a suggestion, let's call it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. So that's one place you're going to get ideas, is by looking at other people's art. And we might do that at some point, kind of look at some other people's art together. See how that goes. Uh, the other places you'll get ideas is from the world around you. And we'll definitely do this at some point. Uh, when I walk around in my hometown here, as I walk around, I look, uh, I look at everything. I'm always looking. I'm a visual guy. I'm a visual, what would you call it, learner or whatever. I'm visually oriented, I guess you would say. So I'm always seeing things, and you'll notice, we'll go through and at some point look at some pictures I take. And I mean just on my cell phone. And these pictures, uh, 
you'll see the things I see, the things I look at, the things I like to look at, the things that catch my attention, look a lot like these drawings right here. Hang on, I have to figure out what number I'm on. They look like, uh, they, they look just like the drawings I draw. Uh, So, Very not available. Connect to the internet. Oh my goodness. So, <clears throat> so that the things I draw look like the things I see, and the things I see look like the things I draw. So you can get ideas from other people's art. You can get ideas from things you see. 34. And lastly, this is what we'll do next, maybe. You can get ideas from your own work, and you'll say, that's impossible. How could I teach myself something or show myself something that I don't already know? Like, even as I say that out loud, it sounds absurd and crazy. But I'm going to tell you. You can look at your own art, and you can learn from it, and you can, I'm going to say, like in jazz, you can riff off your own art. You can respond to your own art and make more art that's more like you. Okay, you're going to have to believe me on that one. We'll get back to that another time. So, thanks for coming to Note Card Art School. We're always open. We'll go with you wherever you go. Coffee shop, vacation, whatever. We're on Etsy. We sell the note cards we make here. And we're on Pinterest. We put up pictures of our note cards. And we put up pictures of your note cards if you send them to me. NoteCardArtSchool at gmail.com can you see that? Okay, gmail.com. I'm Mark. Thanks for coming. See you again next time.